Welcome to a preview of our new TVS 2650 Supercharger kit for the Coyote 5 litre found in the 2016 S550 GT development car on my left and our new 2019 Mustang on my right. Into the dyno room, we're going to look at the engineering and performance of our latest supercharger creation that uses the same Eaton technology as the recently released Ford GT500. The backstory is, three years ago, we released our TVS 2300 kit for the then new 6th gen Mustang. So check out that video from the link below covering our history both with aftermarket and OEM Ford platforms. So when Eden released the TVS 2650 found in the latest C7 Z01 Corvette and more recently the Ford GT500, it was a natural progression to adopt the bigger, more efficient supercharger for the Coyote. The design brief included compatibility with the previous generation port injection engine and also the new DI or direct injection engine found in the 2018 Plus Mustangs and newer model F-150s. Looking at our hardware, for our cold air intake, we have increased the diameter of the MAP tube and retained a serviceable k and pod filter with open top air box to remove the factory air restrictor. The throttle body flange on the new system is designed to accommodate the factory throttle body or up to 100mm aftermarket alternatives. Leveraging our extensive experience, the supercharger assembly design has been optimised to improve the airflow. Thermal efficiency is maximised using our technology from our cooling partners Adrad and like our 2300 kit, the core is dual pass coolant, dual pass airflow integrated into the manifold. Taking delivery of our 2019 Mustang at the end of last year, we got it onto the dyno for some baseline performance data. Measuring 295 kilowatts or 395 horsepower and 513 newton meters or 378 foot pounds of torque on our hub dyno. For the 2018 and up Mustang Stage 1 system, the drive pulley supplied is 95 millimeters. We're using a longer 6PK belt and the factory front end accessory drive. After modifying the torque based speed limiters to achieve an accurate comparison, for stage one we've measured 455 kilowatts or 610 horsepower and 688 newton meters or 507 foot pounds of torque with peak boost at 8 psi. Stage 2 on the 2018 Plus Mustangs will use an 85mm supercharger pulley and a fuel pump upgrade, with performance increasing to 490 kilowatts or 657 horsepower and 735 newton meters or 542 newton meters of torque, with peak boost at 10 psi. Each of these results was using BP98 RON fuel with the standard exhaust system and the standard 10-speed auto. Back to our 2016 development Mustang, having tested the 2300 kit with E85, we were keen to test the potential of the new bigger 2650 kit with engine upgrades to support high boost. The rods and pistons have been upgraded and compression dropped back to 9.5 to 1 and the fuel system upgraded to support the high E85 demands. Exhaust gas removals handled by a full X4 system. With an upgraded overdrive balancer pulley and 70mm supercharger pulley, we've measured peak boost at 20 psi with a massive 720 kilowatts or 965 horsepower and 1110 newton meters or 818 foot pounds of torque measured at the hubs through the six speed auto calibrated with HP tuners. Pre-orders are now being taken to meet demand globally through our reseller network or right here at Harrop Performance Centre in Melbourne. Learn more at harrop.com.au and subscribe to Harrop TV for all of our content as released.